Living life to the extreme. How to ensure a lifetime of aches and pains in a world obsessed with adrenaline rushes and living on the edge, many individuals find themselves drawn to extreme sports and risky recreational activities during their youth. The allure of pushing boundaries, defying gravity, and embracing danger often overrides concerns about long-term consequences. However, as time passes and the years roll by, the thrill-seekers of yesteryears often find themselves facing a harsh reality. A body that protests with every movement plagued by a bad back, bad knees, and bad shoulders. In this article, we delve into the journey of participating in extreme activities as a youth and then navigating the pains and mobility issues that come with age, all while maintaining a sense of humor about the choices that led to this predicament. Youthful Thrills Embracing Danger for Immediate Gratification Ah, the invincible feeling of youth where consequences seem like a distant concern and the thrill of the moment takes precedence over all else. This is the era where bungee jumping off cliffs, snowboarding down treacherous slopes, and scaling towering rock faces become not just activities, but badges of honor. The rush of adrenaline is addictive, fueling the desire to push boundaries further with each daring feat. The allure of extreme sports lies in their ability to provide an instant high, a rush of excitement that momentarily eclipses any thoughts of future repercussions. Who cares about aching joints or a twinge in the back when you're soaring through the air, defying gravity with reckless abandon? The adrenaline-fueled euphoria becomes a drug, and like any addiction, it blinds one to the potential long-term consequences. For many thrill-seekers, the mantra is simple. Live fast, die young, or at least in pain and with limited mobility. The adrenaline junkies of youth often revel in their ability to push the limits, scoffing at the idea of taking it easy or playing it safe. After all, what's life without a few scars and a story or two about that time you narrowly escaped disaster? The culture of extreme sports celebrates risk-taking and embraces the idea of living on the edge. It's a world where danger is romanticized, where the adrenaline rush is worth any price paid in the future. The idea of consequences is pushed aside in favor of the immediate gratification of conquering a challenge and feeling alive in the moment. Little do these daring souls realize that every jump, twist, and turn carries a toll that will be paid in the currency of pain and limited mobility later in life. But hey, who needs a fully functional body when you have memories of epic stunts and heart-pounding adventures to look back on, right? The price of adrenaline, trading pain, free years for a momentary rush, in the world of extreme sports and risky recreational activities, the currency of adrenaline is priceless. It's the fuel that powers daring feats and fuels the desire for excitement at any cost. However, as thrill-seekers chase the next high, they often overlook the steep price they'll pay in the form of long-term pain and mobility issues. The trade-off is simple yet often ignored in the heat of the moment. Trade pain-free years in the future for a fleeting rush of adrenaline today. It's a bargain struck with youthful exuberance and a sense of invincibility, where the thrill of the present overshadows any concerns about tomorrow's aches and pains. For those caught up in the adrenaline-fueled frenzy, each risky maneuver is a gamble with their body's future well-being. Whether it's launching off ramps on a skateboard, tackling steep mountain trails on a bike, or free-falling from great heights, the immediate gratification of conquering a challenge often overshadows thoughts of potential consequences. The adrenaline rush becomes an addiction, driving individuals to seek bigger thrills and riskier adventures. It's a cycle where the need for excitement overrides rationality, leading to choices that prioritize instant gratification over long-term health. As the years pass and the body begins to show signs of wear and tear, the once thriving adrenaline junkies are confronted with a harsh reality. The same activities that once brought them euphoria and a sense of accomplishment now result in chronic pain, limited mobility, and a constant reminder of the toll taken by their youthful exploits. Yet even in the face of physical limitations, many look back on their reckless days with a mix of nostalgia and resignation. They may joke about their broken bodies, but deep down there's a recognition that the price paid for adrenaline-fueled moments was indeed steep. From daredevil to creaky bones, navigating the consequences of reckless living. The journey from daredevil to creaky bones is a familiar path for many who once embraced extreme sports and risky recreational activities with abandon. What starts as a quest for adrenaline-fueled excitement often ends with a body that groans and protests with every movement serving as a constant reminder of past recklessness. Navigating the consequences of reckless living becomes a daily challenge as the years go by. 
Those once fearless individuals now find themselves grappling with chronic pain, mobility issues, and a laundry list of injuries that serve as souvenirs from their adventurous past. The transition from youthful invincibility to grappling with physical limitations can be a bitter pill to swallow. Gone are the days of effortlessly tackling steep slopes or executing gravity-defying stunts. Instead, simple tasks like bending down to tie shoelaces or lifting a heavy object become Herculean feats that require strategic planning and a fair amount of pain management. The irony is not lost on these former daredevils as they navigate a world that now feels smaller and more restrictive. What was once seen as exhilarating and liberating now feels like a prison of aching joints and limited mobility. Yet there's a sense of resigned acceptance, a recognition that the choices made in the past have shaped the present reality. Humor becomes a coping mechanism as they joke about their grand adventures and the price paid for those moments of adrenaline-fueled bliss. The once mighty daredevils now find themselves sharing stories of surgeries, physical therapy sessions, and the latest remedies for back pain or knee issues. In the end, navigating the consequences of reckless living is a lesson in humility and resilience. It's a reminder that while youth may be fleeting, the repercussions of our actions can last a lifetime. Final thoughts. The journey from youthful thrill seeker to seasoned veteran of pain and mobility issues is a tale as old as time, yet it carries timeless lessons about the choices we make and their lasting impact. As we reflect on this sarcastic journey of participating in extreme sports and risky recreational activities, it's essential to acknowledge the dual nature of adrenaline-fueled adventures. While the moments of exhilaration and triumph are undeniably thrilling, they often come at a cost that becomes more apparent with each passing year. The trade-off between immediate gratification and long-term consequences is a delicate balance that many struggle to navigate effectively. However, amidst the jokes about broken bodies and the reminiscing about epic stunts, there's a deeper understanding that life is a series of choices with lasting repercussions. The pursuit of adrenaline rushes may fade with age, but the lessons learned about resilience, humility, and the value of a healthy body remain. Ultimately, the journey from daredevil to creaky bones is a reminder to approach life's adventures with a blend of enthusiasm and caution. It's about finding a balance between pushing boundaries and safeguarding one's well-being, recognizing that the true measure of a life well-lived is not just in the moments of thrill, but also in the ability to navigate the challenges that come afterward with grace and humor.